Hey lovelies, and welcome back to Reviews and Recaps. Today we're going to be talking about Bode and Bougie, Season 1, Episode 6. I'll be talking about some of the key things that I got from the episode, so it will be a bit of a review and a recap, just as the name of my channel suggests. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications so you know every single time that I post. And everyone, please like, share, leave a comment, and let's talk about it. So the episode started with Malaysia where she was meeting up with her lawyer to talk about child support proceedings. It's actually interesting that this uh, ex-husband, who I'm sure can financially afford it, still does not pay child support. And it's even interesting that Malaysia was not going to pursue him about it until she decided to this time around. Like, I personally feel like, you know, People should not get go away scot free from paying child support proceeds from paying child supports. Like you, it shouldn't be on one parent to take care of the child. It should be on both parents. And if the child is living with someone and pay and paying for their day to day stuff, the least the other parent could do is help financially. It's not fair that one person has to do it, especially when the other person is a man of means. So for me, I'm glad I'm like big up, big up Malaysia for actually doing it and going through that. So as far as we know, it's been served. I guess we'll find out a little bit more as the episode progresses. Now, one thing I did want to say about this episode is I actually enjoyed this episode. I'll be honest. I know people give Bold and Bougie a bad rep and say it's not really that great. And I understand how they feel. But I would say this is one of their best episodes so far. And I'll explain why I feel like it's their best episode so far in a minute. So the ladies then met up at a park to, to prepare for like Crystal's event. Now, if you guys don't remember from the last episode, Crystal was preparing for something called like a divorce tour thing where like they would, all the ladies will be talking about things they're trying to let go of and that kind of stuff. And each of them will pitch in their own event. Um into it which i thought was a good idea it's a way to like relieve yourself from having to do the have the whole responsibility of hosting and if everyone has their own event i feel like it also helps like okay you're in charge of this so make sure it goes right you're in charge of this make sure it goes right and i think that's a way to like divide the label a little bit better which i really liked so Goshe had her first um, take, which was she handed everyone balloons and asked them to write things that they were letting go of. So, of course, Princess talks about losing her breast. And yeah, I can I don't even want to imagine it's so such a very sad thing. Um, and I wish her the best on, on that, on her journey. And um, Tamika talks about like self-doubt and that she's claiming abundance, which I was like, OK, this is nice. Goshe was letting go of like family drama. Malaysia talked about like a fear of things, like fear of being around like big groups, fear of things happening to her mom or her children. I really hope that she can let go of those fears because, like, sadly, I, I personally feel like fear brings like a force field around you of that thing which you fear so much, and somehow it attracts the thing you fear so much. So I really hope she can really let that go. Crystal talks about like giving away, like just letting go of the pain from her childhood, pain from her, her marriage. And so that was pretty much it. The part I really enjoyed, I'll tell you guys, was when they were on the bus and Goshe was trying to do like rap battle with Tamika and Tamika killed it. She went in and I really, really enjoyed that. Like everyone was like hyping Tamika. I was all right, Tamika, you can you can rap a little bit, you can spit, you know. And and I thought that was nice. Now, I noticed in there that she made some comments in there that I knew was going to be offensive to go share, but I guess we'll talk about it later on when I want to talk about her inviting, um, Goshe inviting Tamika to the events that she was hosting. So I'll talk about that in a second, but I want to move to the dance studio and what happened in the dance studio. So at the dance studio, I noticed that all of the ladies were like really bonding. And then there came a point where they were like letting go and talking about like certain things. Like it was almost like the dancer was now a therapist. The person dance instructor was now a therapist. I'm like, okay. 
telling them telling them to let go of things and it was like a affirmation session so i thought that was interesting some of the ladies were crying it felt like goshi was pissed she did not want to get into any of those things so of course she stepped out went and then i think malaysia went to try and get her and then she started to open up a little bit about the m that she suffered as a child i don't know if i can say that word on youtube sometimes i forget what i can't say on youtube but it's the thing that where kids are assaulted as children um mostly used to refer to sexual sort of hurt or abuse i think i can say abuse yes um and she talked about you know not really getting therapy and stuff i liked how malaysia was there to listen and try to comfort her i feel like that's what i want to see on the show like women opening up women being vulnerable and women getting along that is what i want to see and i feel like that's why i liked this episode because it was just them vibing and i really really enjoyed that the ladies then went on like a steam it's almost like a, a break room if that's what it's called where you break different things you're like breaking plates and mugs and tvs and all that kind of stuff where you let out your anger to be honest i can understand that because i feel like crystal has a lot of hurt that shows up as anger and i feel like it's a good platform for her to be able to let those things out of course crystal's best friend came to join i was like okay i like how she's like plugging her best friend in the show because like to be honest like when you get on something like bring your people in as much as you can of course bring the right people because the ones if you don't bring the right people they will end up snaking you i'm sure you guys already know how melody must be feeling melody sheree from love and marriage Huntsville. but anyways let's move back to this recap it cracked me up when tamika started to clean i'm like oh my goodness that is my mom that is my mom she came over last weekend and she came to pick up something right and i was like okay everything was there for her i had i'd been cooking all day and like i had started cleaning and stuff by the time she came she was like cleaning extra finding extra bits to clean and stuff and i was just like i was just gonna get to those things uh but anyways um but yeah that that was as tamika was like trying to clean the break room i was just like oh my goodness seriously <laughs> oh, she was really giving auntie on that one anyway so the ladies got back on the bus and goshe started talking about an event that she was throwing and it was like a fundraiser event um for an, an lgbtq themed party um and while she was saying t that to her tamika i believe tamika said she didn't want to come to the party and goshe basically said to her that if she doesn't come she's going to look like a hater and i was just like i didn't like that i feel like people should be able to decline events that they do not want to take part in it's not fair for you to then say it's gonna look like you're a hater like because i don't want to come to an event like people may not come to certain events due to their spiritual reasons due to their faith due to them living by certain principles where they're like okay that's not really my scene that's not somewhere i want to go to like there are different people have different reasons and people are well within their rights to exercise their choice so i didn't really like that it was almost like you have to come so that like you don't get in trouble with this community and I, I really didn't like that and tamika said that it comes across as reverse bullying and um yeah i can see where she's coming from because it's like how can i say i might not be able to come to an event and somehow it's turned into i'm going to look like a hater because i don't want to come to an event that i don't want to come to and i feel like we shouldn't force people to show up to spaces that make them feel uncomfortable right like if they want to support you in a different way that does not involve showing up at the events if you want to accept that support then that's up to you 
but you cannot force anyone to show up somewhere where they do not want to show up at i just don't think that's fair i don't think that's right now i will say there are certain things that tabika has said that can come across very insensitive across the board very insensitive to people within that community also very insensitive in general like there are certain things that she has said on the show that i'm like girl but i still like tamika she's she's funny she's entertaining um and it's almost like she does not give a blip you know she just like does her thing and she's just like yep i'm gonna just do my thing and enjoy myself and that's that is that um and you know i understand what they were saying like you know it was going to be a learning experience for her and but at the same time people are allowed to choose what they want to be educated on and so i don't i i personally am one of those people who believe in free will right and i feel like people should not be forced to be at spaces they don't want to be at to speak where they don't want to speak to show up to where they ought to be educated on things they don't want to be educated on now could we be like oh you're ignorant absolutely you can say she's ignorant but if she doesn't want to be educated there's nothing you can do that's that's a choice that she has made on that issue um but i also understand goshe's perspective because goshe is like you know coupled with the fact that you said certain things that could be perceived as rude and insensitive and ignorant and then now you're saying you're not coming like girl so i get that um but yeah let me know what you guys think about the episode and what you guys thought about this goshe and tamika incident who are you in support of who is right who is wrong let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share, and hit that subscribe button so you know, and, and that bell button so you know every single time that I post. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.